What's good, y'all? Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you are hearing this. Let's see what's going on. What you got for them spirit? Coffin, some type of ending, death. Um, made their journey well. If there was some type of death in your family or some type of loss, miscarriage. Um, but I feel like there's an ending to a situation that somebody could have been working hard for. Cause, all right, we got coffin, we got child, we got toil and labor, and we got occupation. Okay, so there's an ending to something that has been going on for a long time. There could be an ending to neglect, neglecting. The inner child, there could be an ending to a job, something that you have worked hard for, for a long time. There's some type of ending here, okay? Or even a house or a home situation, a family situation with someone that you could have lived with or had children with. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, on a distant horizon. So this either happened or it's going to happen. Someone here is really thinking about that, really concerned about, you know, how things are going to end, if there's going to be some bad karma for that. But I feel like this person wants to court you, okay? But they kind of feel trapped. They want something sudden to happen with you. This could come in suddenly. You could feel trapped or stuck. Somebody could even be locked up, okay? Somebody could be locked in a house situation or locked in a home situation. Somebody definitely going through some bad karma, okay? It could be family involved, but I feel like spirit is stepping in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody was in a bad situation or feeling like they were in a bad situation, needed to come out of that, okay? Somebody may could be looking for a new job or needing more money. It could be many different situations. Take what resonates for you. What we got for coughing, though, so, spirit? What we got for coffin? What's this ending, this death, this transition? Okay. All right. What's happening? We got the three of swords in reverse. And we got, yo, y'all, I'm not playing. We got the death card with the devil. So there's an ending to a toxic situation that has left someone broken heart. This could be you or your person. There's an ending happening to maybe a home situation. You could have felt like you needing to move or need to work hard to get a new place. There could be an ending to your old house and the beginning to your new house. This this could be an ending to a relationship and the beginning of a new relationship. There's some type of transition that's happening, okay? The devil could have been trying to stop it in many different ways. Don't allow the devil to bring you down. The devil, with these cards of surrounding it, it could also talk about... Um, somebody's feeling very possessive or controlling and needing to heal that. But whoever this person is, I'm going to keep it real, your person is very possessive of you and protective of you. This person is not willing to give up on you. This person is willing to come back for you, okay? So the devil could have, you know, made you feel like or kept you stuck in a dark place. You know how be a devil and the angel on your shoulders. And, you know, the devil could have been you know, speaking loud, because God whispers. You have to quiet your mind in order to hear the God that's in you, okay? But the devil will speak loud through all types of different chaos and confusion and destruction, okay? But I feel like there's an ending to that toxic situation. There's an ending to the broken heart because you didn't give up on yourself, okay? For some of you, there's definitely a child involved or will be involved, <laughs> This person is not giving up on you because they feel like you are the person that they're supposed to have children with, okay? All right, this could definitely talk about inner child or you needing to heal your inner child after going through this hard, toxic situation, okay? Invest in yourself, invest in your healing, invest in your meditation, all right? But somebody is also willing to invest in you. Reunion is happening. This person is not giving up. The Spirit is saying, don't let the devil allow you to give up on this reunion, Okay? Take some time to yourself. You've been through a hard battle. You worked hard, okay, to get to this place. You invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into yourself, into your inner child, into your job, into your work, into changing and becoming a better person, into your home, into getting a new home, 
or trying to make your home a better, make your house a better home, okay? You worked hard. So now Spirit is saying, have the inner strength right now that you need. Take time. This is Leo season. This is 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate coming up, okay? This is double sun energy, okay? Spiritual sun, Cyrus, and, you know, plus the regular sun. That's why August always super hot, extra hot. We be praying for rain. And I wish it would rain. Okay, now we're starting to get some rain. Now it's about to be some type of rainbow after the storm. You'll get the sunshine that's about to come on the horizon. You just got to stay invested. Don't give up. Take time to meditate when you feel like you're out of commission. When you feel like you work so hard. And you feel like you don't see nothing to pay for it. You're living a paycheck to paycheck. Whatever you're going through, okay? You could be going through some type of financial crisis or going through some type of scarcity energy where you're feeling like you don't have enough when you do. Now is the time to be confident and be strong and talk to your spirit team. Ask for help, okay? Call on them. Call on your spirit team. Trust your inner intuition. This is the time to trust yourself the most, okay? Because what you worked hard for, you're about to see fruits from your labor. Also, somebody could be reaching out to you. This person is very passionate about you. They're now trusting their intuition. They feel like you are their home. The person that they want to be with. Things could have been blocked in the past because there was multiple options. But there's an ending to an option. And there's victory and success with you. Okay? You could have felt like. You or your person was juggling. You could have been juggling multiple things. Your person could have been juggling multiple things, trying to just find a way in life. You know what I'm saying? There was blockages on the road. But remember, to remove any negative blockages, remove any negative people, places, and things from out your path, okay? Cancel any curse spells or hex. Banish any evil beings with evil intentions, okay? You are free. Blockages are being removed, and you're very victorious with this, okay? Trust in your higher self. Talk to spirit because there's some type of big change or big epiphany that's going to show you the way. Okay? You have found your confidence or you're going to find your confidence. Even if you lost it for a while, spirit is going to bring clarity to you. Clarity to this person, okay? That's going to make things start to speed up. You start the quantum leap into the direction that you're meant to be with. There's a power couple here. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. That's clarity. That's truth speaking, okay? This person is choosing to have a long-term commitment with you. They, it will probably start with communication, some type of communication because they are in love with you. This is the emperor that we talk about. They finally have some type of clarity. Spirit has shown them they're afraid that you may reject this. You could have felt rejected by this person. Person. But this person actually genuinely loves you and is willing to work for this. But they had to leave a certain place, a thing, and it has caused a lot of stress when you build a life somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But they've been working hard on themselves, stacking up their money, holding on to this connection, trying to hold on to this. So now spirit is revealing the path. But while the path is being revealed, if they, they know if they make a certain direction and it's not the, the direction that the other person is expecting it will cause conflict but this person is coming either way it could have taken a long time but this full moon remember it's two super moons in august is bringing clarity it's bringing justice okay it's awakening the soul to show the soul where they need to be and this person wants partnership with you and things will move forward fast you have luck on your side you could be seeing 777 you'll be celebrating soon there's some type of big win that's coming okay this person is in regret about how they may have treated you or mistreated you. This person is willing to put in the work to come towards you. They are now healing their inner child. They are ending a toxic situation. If you was going through a situation where somebody tried to pin a baby on you, you or your person, clarity is coming to the situation. All you have to do is take some time to yourself. Take some time just to yourself. Rest. Meditate. Put on some type of music that's going to bring you some type of clarity, some type of soft music. Make sure you breathe. If you have an anxiety, you can't sleep at night. Make sure you're breathing and taking the steps that you need to take. Be confident right now. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition because everything you want is happening for you. It's in the cups, okay? You're about to get everything that you ever wanted. Blockages are being removed. 
if there was a blockage, it was for your protection, okay? So don't look at that like it's a loss because it didn't happen in your timing. It wasn't meant to happen. You were being protected from it. It could have been a house that you were trying to move to and you were blocked from it. It's because that house wasn't for you. You don't want to move into no more karmic situations. You're now moving into your divinity and stepping into your higher purpose and becoming the best version of yourself, okay? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.